Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. Hey there gamers, welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we'll be diving into the golden era of gaming with a special treat. We're counting down the top 30 graphically superior NES games that push the limits of the beloved 8-bit console. From the adrenaline-pumping action of Contra to the enchanting world of Crystallis, we're about to get on a pixel-perfect journey through the games that defined a generation. So, grab your controllers and let's get nostalgic as we explore the titles that made the NES a legendary console. Contra. Contra is all about blasting your way through 2633 AD, where you're up against the nasty Red Falcon crew. You're either Bill or Lance, part of this elite squad called Contra, and you're diving headfirst into some wild jungles and enemy bases to stop these baddies from wiping out humanity. Now, coming to the gameplay. It's a wild mix of running, gunning, and acrobatic dodges with a side of explosive power-ups. You've got everything from a trusty machine gun to a wicked spread gun that blasts enemies in all directions. Graphically, this game was the definition of the cool kid on the block, with detailed visuals, vibrant levels, and smooth animations that elevate the 8-bit experience. This game is a standout. Characters and environments pop with color and life, ensuring every moment is visually engaging. It's a feast for the eyes, setting a new standard for its era. The game gives you a feeling that you're in an action movie where you're the star, mowing down aliens and saving the world with style. Totally a classic that still kicks butt. Batman Return of the Joker In Batman Return of the Joker, the Dark Knight is on a high-stakes mission to thwart the Joker's latest scheme, involving stolen metals to create deadly missiles. Set in the comic book universe, this game takes Batman through Gotham City's Cathedral, the Joker's warehouse, and other perilous locations, culminating in the sinister island of ha Hacienda. The gameplay is a thrilling run-and-gun platformer across seven diverse stages. Batman wields a wrist projector, swapping ammo types like explosive crossbow bolts and tracking batarangs to take down enemies. He can slide into foes for a quick takedown and even become temporarily invincible with enough energy capsules. Now let's talk about what we're here for. Graphics-wise, the game is a standout on the NES. Detailed vibrant levels and smooth animations that bring Gotham and its inhabitants to life. The character sprites are large and detailed, and the backgrounds are richly designed, making every moment on screen pop with comic book flair. It's really impressive and plays a vital role in keeping us players hooked in this action-packed adventure that any Cape Crusader fan would love. Darkwing Duck In Darkwing Duck, a crime wave sweeps through St. Canard, and it's up to the titular hero to save the day. The notorious Fowl and their lead operative, Steelbeak, have unleashed six of Darkwing's nastiest foes to create chaos. It's a classic tale of good versus evil, as Darkwing battles through various stages to confront Steelbeak and bring peace back to the city. Gameplay-wise, it's a nostalgic platformer with a twist. You hop, skip, and jump through levels, but what sets it apart is Darkwing's trusty gas gun. With different ammo types like Thunder, Heavy, and Arrow, you've got to strategize the best way to take down baddies. Plus, Darkwing's cape isn't just for show. It deflects projectiles, adding a cool defensive move to your arsenal. Graphically, for an NES game, it's pretty slick. The character sprites are detailed and true to the cartoon, and the backgrounds are vibrant and varied, capturing the essence of St. Canard. It's a visual treat that stands out in the platforming genre. Super Mario Bros. 3 Super Mario Bros. 3 is a classic tale where Mario and Luigi are on a mission to save Princess Toadstool and the rulers of Seven Kingdoms from Bowser and his mischievous kids, the Koopalings. Each kingdom's king has been transformed into an animal by a magical wand, and it's up to the brothers to restore order. The gameplay is a delightful mix of running, jumping, and flying through diverse worlds from deserts to giant lands. With new power-ups like the Super Leaf and Tanuki Suit, Mario can soar through the sky or turn into a statue. It's all about strategy and timing as you navigate through levels, dodge enemies, and collect coins. It's no doubt that this game was a masterpiece of its time. The brightly detailed worlds are full of life and the characters are as charming as ever. The game's visual style, with its stage play theme, makes every level feel like a performance, with Mario as the star. Visuals are so good that they take you back in time when you feel like jumping into a childhood memory and finding it just as magical as you remembered. Samson. 
a hidden gem from 1992, Little Samson takes you to a world filled with the threat of a dark prince who was recently freed from his seal. As the kingdom teeters on the brink, four unlikely heroes receive a royal summons to save the day. You navigate these characters, each with unique abilities, through a series of challenging levels to confront the dark prince and his menacing henchmen. The gameplay offers a Mega Man style action with a twist. You can switch between the four heroes at any time, each with the health gauge but sharing lives. This adds a strategic layer as you tackle different obstacles and enemies. The game ramps up the challenge in normal mode with more enemies and limited health extensions, making your choice of hero and strategy even more crucial. Graphically, it stands out with its detailed sprites and vibrant levels. The character animations are smooth, and the bosses are impressively large and intimidating, making each encounter a memorable battle. This one really is an underrated classic due to the challenges, strategy and visual appeal, making it a must-play for any NES enthusiast. It feels like you've discovered a rare treasure in the world of retro gaming. Kirby's Adventure Next up is Kirby's Adventure, where you're bouncing into Dreamland where Kirby's on a mission to fix the Star Rod after King DDD breaks it and scatters the pieces. It's a colourful quest filled with inhaling enemies, stealing their powers, and using them to navigate through a variety of creative levels. Gameplay is where it's at, with Kirby's iconic ability to copy enemies' powers making its debut. This means you're not just floating and spitting stars, you're lighting up as a spark, swinging a sword and doing all sorts of cool stuff depending on who you've gobbled up. The game is a smooth side-scrolling platform that's easy to pick up but offers plenty of depth with its power-up strategy. Now, coming to the graphics, this one held its head high while showing off what the system could do late in its life. It's a vibrant, colourful world that's a joy to explore, with detailed sprites and imaginative environments. Kirby's pink, puffy self never looked better, especially in his many power-up forms. This one succeeds with a delightful romp through Dreamland that's as charming as it is fun. It's like a dreamy, candy-coloured playground that you won't want to leave. Prince of Persia, NES. Prince of Persia is another classic tale set in medieval Persia, where you step into the shoes of an unnamed hero. Your mission is to navigate through treacherous dungeons, defeat the evil Grand Vizier Jafar, and save the princess locked away in a high tower. With the clock ticking, it's a race against time in this thrilling adventure. The gameplay is a mix of precise jumps, sword fights, and puzzle solving. What sets it apart is the fluid, realistic animation, thanks to a technique called rotoscoping. You'll feel every leap and sword clash as you make your way through the 12 challenging levels, dodging traps and battling guards. The game's difficulty ramps up as you progress, keeping you on your toes until the very end. Coming to graphics, this game was way ahead of its time. The detailed character movements and the atmospheric dungeon settings create a one-of-a-kind experience that still impresses. It's not just a game, it's a cinematic journey through a perilous yet enchanting world. Battletoads. Battletoads is a wild ride from 1991 that throws you into the boots of Rash and Zitz, two of the three space humanoid toad warriors on a mission to defeat the evil Dark Queen and rescue their buddy Pimple and Princess Angelica. It's a beat-em-up platformer that's as quirky as it is challenging. The gameplay is a frenetic mix of brawling, platforming, racing and overcoming bizarre obstacles. You've got a variety of smash hits at your disposal, from the turbo thwack to the big bad boot to take down enemies in style. The game's notorious for its difficulty, especially the infamous Turbo Tunnel level, making it a badge of honour to beat. Battletoads on the NES really knock it out of the park with graphics that are nothing short of awesome. You've got sprites that are super detailed, levels that pop with colour, and animations that are just so smooth. Plus, the mix of isometric and classic platforming views give it a cool twist that makes it stand out. It's like the game's visuals are putting on a show just for you. Mega Man 6 Mega Man 6 takes you on a wild ride where a robot tourney goes haywire thanks to Mr. X, a baddie with a world-conquering agenda. Plot twist? He's actually the infamous Dr. Wily in a sneaky disguise. So, who's gonna save the day? You guessed it, our blue hero Mega Man is on the case. Gameplay-wise, it's all the classic Mega Man vibes you love, zipping through side-scrolling levels, blasting baddies with your trusty Mega Blaster, and snagging cool powers from the robot masters you take down. But here's the kicker. New alternate routes and rush adapters crank up the fun, morphing Mega Man into jet or power mode for some fresh moves and exploration. Coming to visuals and graphics now, this game is like a love letter to your NES. 
It maxes out what the console can do, splashing the screen with super vibrant colours and ultra detailed levels and characters. Even as the last 8-bit hurrah in the series, it's a total eye candy fest that'll make you go, wow. With a blast of nostalgia with a twist, offering familiar fun with just enough new tricks to keep you hooked, it's like revisiting an old friend who still surprises you after all these years. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Ah, oh, what do we have here? Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. In this game, the dynamic duo is on a wild chase to save a supposedly missing kitten, only to find out it's a ruse by the notorious fat cat to kidnap the clever friend Gadget. As Chip and Dale, you'll navigate through the city, dodging mechanical dogs and taking down a crazed robot, all to thwart Fat Cat's dastardly plans. The game plays a blast with single and two-player modes, where you can hop, duck and chuck everything from acorns to barrels at baddies. You've only got three hits before you're out, so every move counts. Plus, your pals Monterey Jack and Zipper pop up to lend a hand when things get tough. And graphics? Well, the game is a total treat, capturing the vibrant, animated feel of the TV show with colourful, lively levels and smooth, cartoon-like movements. It's like you've jumped straight into an episode. In short, this game is a nostalgic, action-packed adventure that's as fun as it is cute. It's like reliving your favourite Saturday morning cartoon, <laughs> but you're in control. Mitsume Gatoru. In Mitsume Gatoru, you delve into the shoes of Hosuke Sharaku, the last of the three-eyed ones, on a quest to rescue his friend Watso Chiyoko from the clutches of the evil Princess Godaru. It's a journey through the city ruins to the eerie Sodom, facing off against ancient tanks and bizarre creatures. The gameplay is a classic shooting and platforming across five unique levels. Sharaku's got a nifty regular bullet, but the real game-changer is the Red Condor, a spear that doubles as a weapon and a platform. Collect gold coins from fallen foes to upgrade your arsenal and tackle the increasingly tricky obstacles and bosses. Graphically, the game is a feast for the eyes, with each level bringing its own distinct vibe and detailed sprites. From the bustling city streets to the mysterious ancient pyramid, every scene is packed with vibrant visuals and smooth as butter animations. To sum it up, Mitsume Gatoru is a hidden gem that offers both engaging gameplay and eye-catching graphics. It's like diving into a manga, and every turn is a new adventure. Gradius and Gradius 2. In both Gradius and Gradius 2, you're the pilot of the Vic Viper, darting through space to thwart the alien Bacterian Empire's invasion. As you navigate your spacecraft through hazardous environments, you're on a mission to destroy the core of giant enemy crafts and save the universe from domination. Gameplay is a thrilling ride in the first part with the innovative power meter system. Collecting capsules lets you beef up your ship with new weapons and defenses, making for some strategic power-up choices. The side-scrolling action is intense, with a variety of enemies and obstacles that keep you on your toes. Gradius 2's gameplay remains true to its roots but with welcome enhancements. Choose from four weapon configurations, each offering a unique combat experience. The introduction of the Boss Rush level is a game-changer, pitting you against a series of challenging bosses in rapid succession. Graphically, both games set a high standard for side-scrolling shooters. They crank up the visual vibe big time. You've got the sprites that are so crisp and detailed they practically leap off the screen. The colours? They're popping off like a fireworks show. And the smoothness of the animations? <laughs> like butter. Every level is a pixel paradise, drawing you into a world that's as rich and lively as a street art mural. It's an eye candy extravaganza that you just gotta see to believe. Metal Storm. It's 2501, and you're the last hope for a solar system in crisis. That's Metal Storm for you, folks. A defense laser on Pluto's gone haywire, obliterating planets, and Earth's next on the hit list. You're piloting the M308 Gunner, a robot with a nifty trick up its sleeve, flipping gravity. This isn't just a gimmick. It's the core of your mission as you navigate through the base to hit that all-important self-destruct button. The game plays a wild ride with this gravity-flipping action. You're hopping between floor and ceiling, dodging dangers and blasting enemies with your trusty gun. Power-ups like shields and fireballs keep things fresh and challenging. Plus, you get a password after each stage to save your progress. <laughs> a real lifesaver. Metal Storm is a visual feast on the NES, boasting ultra-detailed sprites and dynamic futuristic environments that pop off the screen. The smooth, fluid animations bring the unique gravity-flipping gameplay to life, immersing you in a world that feels both retro and ahead of its time. It's a pixel-perfect, neon-drenched journey that showcases the best of 8-bit graphics, making it a standout title that's as pleasing to the eyes as it is fun to play.
Little Nemo, the Dream Master. In Little Nemo, the Dream Master, players step into the whimsical world of a young boy's dreams. Nemo's off on a quest through Slumberland, feeding animals candy to ride them and gain their unique abilities. His mission? To rescue King Morpheus from the Nightmare King's grasp. It's a sweet, surreal adventure that feels like a bedtime story gone wild. Sounds captivating, doesn't it? Gameplay is all about exploration and transformation. You'll navigate through expansive side-scrolling levels, hunting for keys to progress, and swapping between Nemo and his animal buddies to tackle various challenges. Each critter brings its own set of skills, making every level a new puzzle to solve. So, what's so special about the graphics, you ask? It's a colourful treat to simplify. The detailed, imaginative levels and cute character designs capture the essence of a dream world. It's almost like flipping through a beautifully illustrated storybook, with each page bringing a new surprise. Castlevania 3 – Dracula's Curse Castlevania 3 – Dracula's Curse is all set to take you back to the roots of the Belmont family's vampire hunting saga. Set in 1476, you're Trevor C. Belmont, gearing up to take down Dracula and his monstrous army. It's a prequel to the original, so expect some epic backstory and whip-cracking action. Gameplay-wise, it's a return to the classic platforming of the first game, but with a twist. You're not just Trevor. You can team up with one of three unique companions, each with their own abilities. Choose your path wisely as the game branches out, offering different routes and challenges. Your choices even affect the ending, so every playthrough can be a new experience. Graphically, Castlevania 3 is a gothic masterpiece on the NES. The detailed, moody environments and character ingredients are top-notch, <laughs> and oh, the animation brings every whip-crack and monster to eerie life. This one offers a benching story with kick-ass graphics which will definitely keep bringing you back for more. Ninja Gaiden 3 – The Ancient Ship of Doom In Ninja Gaiden 3 – The Ancient Ship of Doom, you take on the role of Ryu Hayabusa, caught in a web of deception after being framed for the murder of Irene Liu. As you slice through the mystery, you uncover a sinister plot involving CIA agent Foster and the creation of superhuman mutants. It's a race against time to stop Foster, confront your doppelganger, and bring down the ancient ship of doom. This installment keeps the adrenaline-pumping action of its predecessors, but adds new twists. Ryu can now hang from pipes and has an expanded arsenal, including the ability to wield the Dragon Spirit Sword for extended reach. The game's notorious for its difficulty, especially the North American version, with limited continues and tougher enemies. Each level ends with a challenging boss fight, requiring strategy and quick reflexes. This game's a visual spectacle on the NES. The detailed atmospheric environments create a one-of-a-kind experience. The game has a dark animation and moody aesthetic which perfectly complements its intense storyline. Packed with action and intrigue, Ninja Gaiden 3 – The Ancient Ship of Doom is bound to keep your thumbs busy and your heart racing. Zelda 2 – The Adventure of Link Zelda 2 – The Adventure of Link is a daring sequel where you, as the now 16-year-old Link, are on a quest to awaken a sleeping Princess Zelda from an ancient curse. With a mysterious mark on your hand and a destiny to fulfill, you're off to place crystals in six palaces to unlock the Great Palace and claim the Triforce of Courage. It's a race against time as Ganon's minions are hot on your tail, hoping to resurrect their master. This game shakes things up with a mix of top-down exploration and side-scrolling action. You're jumping, fighting, and casting spells like never before. The combat's more strategic, requiring you to duck, jump, and strike with precision. Plus, you're leveling up with experience points, a first for the series, enhancing your attack, magic, and life. The introduction of magic spells and the ability to jump adds layers of depth to your adventure. The game's bold shift to side-scrolling action brings a fresh visual style to the series. The detailed visuals of environments and characters are a step up, immersing you in a more dynamic high rule. The overworld map mixed with side-scrolling dungeons creates a diverse and engaging high experience and complements the overall graphics. Bubble Bubble 2 Bubble Bubble Part 2 is all about bringing back the bubble-blowing, platform-hopping fun with Bub, or his descendant Cubby, on a quest to rescue his girlfriend Judy from the nefarious Skull Brothers. 
In a twist of fate, Bub transforms into a bubble dragon and sets off on a rescue mission through various imaginative levels. The gameplay sticks to the series' roots with bubble blowing action, but now you can float to new heights with a hold of the B button, adding a fresh layer to your platforming strategy. The NES version spices things up with bonus games post-boss battles, and while it's a solo adventure this time, the turn-based two-player mode keeps the cooperative spirit alive. On the graphics front, this game is a total eye-catcher, packed with lively, punchy colours that really pop. The elements are detailed and full of character, and every environment you bounce through is just oozing with charm. It's like jumping into a cartoon where every frame is designed to make you happy and engaged. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. G.I. Joe, a real American hero on the NES is a blast from the past, taking you on a running gun adventure with the iconic military team. You're on a mission to defeat the notorious Cobra, navigating through six diverse stages across the globe. Choose your three-man squad from favorites like Duke, Snake Eyes, and Rock and Roll, each bringing their unique skills to the battle. Gameplay is all about strategy and firepower. Power-ups boost your abilities, and you can even command enemy vehicles for extra punch. The game's mix of on-foot and vehicular combat keeps things fresh and exciting. Plus, the ability to switch between characters mid-session adds a layer of tactical depth. The game's visuals are considered iconic due to its colourful and dynamic environments that bring the G.I. Joe universe to life. The character actions and animations are a treat to the eyes too. Every mission here is a visual thrill because of tough-to-beat non-stop actions. Vice Project Doom Vice Project Doom sets you in a future where the Beta Corporation's sinister activities are under scrutiny. Your detective heart, diving deep into a world of aliens, addictive substances, and biopunk nightmares. After your partner Reese disappears and your lover Christy is kidnapped, the stakes couldn't be higher. As you uncover the truth about the alien race and their deadly gel, the plot thickens, leading to a confrontation with a shocking revelation about your own identity. This game is a genre-blending adventure with 11 stages of side-scrolling, driving, and shooting action. You'll switch between Hearts Laser Whip, Revolver, and Grenades to take down enemies, collect power-ups to boost your abilities, and navigate through diverse and challenging environments. The driving segments put you in a high-speed chase, while the shooting stages offer a first-person perspective, adding variety and depth to your mission. It stands out with its detailed, colourful graphics and fluid animations that bring its dystopian world to life. The cutscenes are particularly impressive, unfolding the story with an anime and noir flair that's rare for its time. Each level, from the neon-lit streets to the eerie laboratories, is rendered with care, making every moment of the game a visual treat. This one takes you on a ride through a futuristic nightmare and fast-paced action with an iconic visual that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. The Adventures of Lolo If your thirst for puzzles hasn't been quenched yet, we introduce you to Adventures of Lolo. You'll have to conquer a world of puzzles as the adorable, round little hero Lolo. Your mission here is to go through King Egger's castle and rescue Princess Lala. With 50 rooms spread over 10 floors, each puzzle room challenges you to collect hearts, unlock a treasure chest, and grab the gem that opens the door to the next brain teaser. This tickles your brain, so here's how exciting the gameplay is. You'll push through blocks, shoot enemies to encase them in eggs, and use your limited powers wisely to overcome obstacles. Each enemy type has its own pattern, so every move counts. And if you get stuck, you can restart the room at the cost of a life, giving you endless chances to crack the code. What makes the game so addictive is its advanced graphic elements that are simply super cool. It's a feast for your eyes with its colourful and well-designed puzzle rooms. Each level is brain-teasing, but the best part is its adorable characters that'll keep you thinking and smiling in equal measure. Fire and Ice Here, you have to go into a bright and beautiful world as a slick and savvy cool coyote with a mission. What's that? Well, you kind of have to navigate through creatively designed levels, find the exit door, and unlock it with a key that's broken into several pieces. Hmm, seems easy, right? Well, there's a catch. These pieces are held by monsters scattered throughout the level. The gameplay is a mix of exploration and combat. You'll need to outsmart and freeze monsters by pelting them with your icy projectiles, then rush to shatter them before they thaw. It's a dance of attack and dash, ensuring each level is filled with excitement and strategy. This one's graphics is a treat or a feast for the eyes, you may say, especially on the CD32, with its detailed backgrounds, a burst of 256 on-screen colors, and multiple layers of parallax scrolling that add depth and life to each stage. This game will have you shooting, dodging, and jumping through a world as beautiful as it is challenging. Not a moment of boredom passes in your mind. Moon Crystal Do you want to be hooked and have graphics that turn heads? 
Well, then Moon Crystal is just the one you're looking for. Here, you take on the role of Ricky, a dude on a wild mission to rescue his dad from the clutches of the wicked Count Crimson. But wait, there's more. The entire fam has been nabbed, cranking up the stakes and Ricky's determination to a whole new level. Um, well, so what about the gameplay? Think Zelda 2 with a slick twist. Ricky's got this cool ability to grab onto ledges, making each jump and dodge more than just a simple move. It's a fresh take on the classic run and gun style, keeping you engaged and guessing what's next. Diving into the visuals, <laughs> it's simply a retro masterpiece, flaunting animations so fluid that they flow like a river, and details that just burst off the screen. It's akin to wandering through a vivid, pixelated gallery where each sprite is a piece of art, narrating its own epic saga. Mendel Palace Next up is Mendel Palace, where we experience a world of quirky puzzle worlds where you, as Bonbon, bon, or Carton in Japan, embark on a mission to rescue Princess Candy, or your girlfriend Jenny, from the dreamy clutches of a jealous young girl. Whether she's a royal or your sweetheart, the stakes are high in this tile-flipping adventure. The gameplay is all about strategy and quick cat-like reflexes. Not only will you have to navigate a 5x7 grid, but also flip tiles to propel enemy dolls into walls or blocks to destroy them. With a variety of enemy behaviours and special tiles that affect gameplay, each level offers a challenge tougher than the last one. You can solo or team up with a friend for double the fun and strategy. Now let's take a shot at why it's considered so graphically enhanced. Mendel Palace is straight up a work of colourful treat. The details and animation are a delight to your senses, which combined with clever gameplay is super engaging among the players. Crisis Force. Imagine going into a world where ancient civilizations clash in the skies, and you're all in for the high-flying adventure of Crisis Force. Asuka and Maya, twins with a secret heritage from the lost civilization of Mu, pilot the Aura Wing fighters to battle the revived monsters of Atlantis, threatening modern Tokyo. It's a race against time to save the world from destruction. This game is a thrilling vertical shoot 'em up experience. You and a friend can co pilot four different ships, each transformable into three unique forms with distinct attack styles front offense for direct assaults, side offense for broad coverage, and rear offense for backward firepower. Collect power-ups to enhance your ship's abilities and even combine ships for a short period of overwhelming power. The game is highly praised for its outstanding graphics. The game boasts detailed sprites and vibrant backgrounds that bring the aerial battles to life, making every level a visual spectacle. These graphical elements play a crucial role in the transformative gameplay of Crisis Force, making it a gem of the NES era. 3D World Runner in the 3D battles of World Runner, you're Jack, a space cowboy zooming through solar system number 517 to save planets from the serpent beasts. It's a race against evil across eight worlds, where you leap over chasms and blast foes. This game isn't just a run, it's a high-speed chase through a universe in peril. Gameplay is a wild ride, you're constantly moving forward, dodging enemies and jumping over gaps that could swallow you whole. The end of each world pits you against a serpentine beast, demanding quick reflexes and sharp shooting. It's a relentless push against the clock, with power-ups and bonus stars adding to the frantic pace. Graphically, World Runner is a trailblazer. Its pseudo 3D perspective and anaglyph 3D mode were mind-blowing in the 80s. The colourful, sprite-based worlds pop with depth and motion, making every leap and dash feel thrillingly real. With those cardboard glasses on, the game leaps out at you, turning your living room into an alien landscape. Journey to Silius In Journey to Silius, you're going into the cosmic boots of Jay McRae, a dude on a mission fueled by vengeance and a dash of cosmic justice. After terrorists off his old man and blow their space colony dreams to smithereens, Jay's all about dishing out some interstellar payback and safeguarding the Silius solar system. It's a tale of retribution with a stellar spin. The gameplay is a blast, <laughs> literally. You're sprinting, blasting and weaving through five levels of futuristic chaos, from desolate colonies to dens of the enemy. Jay's packing heat with an arsenal that'd make any space cowboy jealous, from trusty shotguns to flashy laser rifles. But watch that ammo. In space, every energy blast is precious. Visually, this game is a cosmic spectacle. Ditching its Terminator roots mid-development, it carved out its own universe of dystopian cool. The backdrops are a canvas of pixelated despair. The foes are as nasty as they look, and Jay, well, he's the pixel hero of the hour. The game dazzles with its retro artistry and keeps you on your toes with its old-school challenge. <laughs> Definitely a must-play, people.
Blaster Master. If you're up for a non-stop gripping adventure, then Blaster Master is the one for you. In the game, you'll tag along with Jason and his beast of a tank, Sophia, as they take on a mutant-infested planet. It's a wild ride from chasing down a runaway pet frog to duking it out with the big bads of planet Sophia. The gameplay is simply top-notch. You're not just stuck in a tank. You'll be hopping out, running around and blasting baddies on foot too. Each game in the series throws in new tricks and treats, so uh, it never gets old. And let's talk looks. This series is a total eye candy throwback. Blaster Master Zero and its sequels rock that 8-bit style with a modern twist. We're talking crisp, colourful pixels that make every mutant and maze pop. This game is your passport to an unending journey of visual wonders and thrilling gameplay that's as delightful to experience as it is to behold. Thriller's Safari Let's take a peek into T&C Surf Designs 2, Thriller's Safari. In this game, you'll join Thriller Gorilla on a wild ride to rescue his gal, Barbie Bikini, from the clutches of the wicked witch doctor, Wazula. This isn't your typical beach vacation. We're talking about an epic African adventure with jungles, deserts, and uh, even underwater caverns. Coming to the gameplay, it's a gnarly mix of dodging, jumping, and collecting. Play a skateboard through the wilds, surf down raging rivers, and even ride a shark through spooky caverns. Keep your eyes peeled for coconuts and bananas to boost your lives, and snack some rad power-ups like the handstand for a brief invincibility boost. This game's visuals are astonishing with a tropical treat. The eye-catching visuals really make you feel the heat of the jungle and the chill of the caverns. The enemies are as wild as the terrain, from spear-toting locals to electric eels. Overall, it's a radical ride through exotic lands, packed with action and stunning sceneries that'll keep you stoked from start to finish. Crystallis. Last but not least, in Crystallis, you wake up from a cryogenic sleep, a young magician with no memories thrust into a post-apocalyptic world set in 2097, a century after a devastating nuclear war. Your mission? To thwart the tyrannical Dragonian Empire and prevent humanity from repeating its catastrophic mistakes. With the guidance of four sages and a mysterious woman, you're the world's last hope. The gameplay is classic action RPG goodness. You'll navigate a top-down world, slashing monsters with your sword and casting spells, all while donning various armors and shields. As you defeat enemies, you'll gain experience, level up, and become stronger. The game's real charm is its four elemental swords, each with unique powers essential for overcoming specific obstacles and enemies. The strategic use of these swords adds a layer of depth and puzzle-solving to your adventure. Graphically, Crystallis was a standout for its time, with vibrant detailed environments and smooth animations that bring its fantasy world to life. The game's imaginative setting and elemental swords create a visually engaging experience that's hard to put down. Marvelous verdict, and there you have it folks, the top 30 graphically superior NES games that dazzled us with their creativity and visual flair. These titles didn't just entertain, they inspired and set the standard for generations to come. Whether it was the dark streets of Batman Return of the Joker, the whimsical lands of Kirby's Adventure, or the challenging realms of Battletoads, each game brought something unique to our screens. We hope this video was able to rekindle some fond memories and maybe even introduce you to a few gems you missed. If you enjoyed this pixel pack journey, don't forget to let us know your favourite NES graphics in the comments below. Until next time, keep those 8-bit dreams alive and happy gaming.